for your mercies and your wrath forever. Amen. For your mercies and your wrath forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen, O oh Lord. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For your mercies and your wrath forever. Amen. For your mercies and your wrath forever. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our life. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Let's begin to worship him. Let's thank him for another present, another time he is present. Let's give him praise for what the Lord has been doing, for giving us life, for salvation of our souls, for provision, for his protection, for healing and restoration. Let's say, Father, we thank you. Jesus, we give you praise. We worship you, Father. We magnify your faithfulness. You alone is worthy to be praised. There is none like unto thee. None can be compared with you. You are the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending the lion of the tribe of Judas, the rose of Sharon, incomparable God, the omnipotent and many science God, everlasting redeemer, we just want to say thank you. We exalt your holy name. Faithful God, we thank you. Daddy, we thank you, Lord, for life. We thank you, Father, for another time in your presence. We worship you, King of glory. We exalt your holy name, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus. For everything, we just want to say thank you. Daddy, Lord, thank you, God, for we are not where we used to be. Daddy, thank you, Father, because you are taking us somewhere. Daddy, thank you because our time is come. Father, thank you. We give you praise. We worship you, Father. Thank you for what you are set to do today. Daddy, thank you for you're going to destroy every lawful captivity in our lives, in our nation, in our churches, in our families concerning our, our children, our spouses. Oh, Father, thank you for our business. You are going to destroy every form of lawful captivity. We give you all the praise. We magnify you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We ask you, oh God, for the forgiveness of our sin. Let's begin to ask God to have mercy on us in every way and manner that we have sinned, every sin that we have committed knowingly or unknowingly, that the Lord should have mercy on anywhere, Lord God, that the enemy want to hinder us this morning, that the Lord in his infinite mercy, Lord, should have mercy, wash us clean in the pool of the blood of Jesus. Oh, Father, we ask for your mercy, oh God, that we are men of of sinful nature. We ask, O oh God, that you come and purge us this morning. Wash us as white as snow. Wash us with the blood of Jesus. Daddy, O oh God, accept us, O oh God, and accept our prayers. Daddy, answer our prayers, Lord. Do not allow the accuser of the brethren to accuse us this morning. Thank you, ancient of days. I want you to commit the service into the hands of the Lord. I say, Lord, if it's just two persons that you are going to meet here today, let me be number one. Father, I like, thank you, God, for all your children. I pray, Lord Jesus, you visit every home. You visit every individual. You visit all the nations that are represented here this morning. Father, Lord, you will set your people free from every form of captivity. Daddy, thank you because I know you're going to do it. Thank you, God, for everyone that you're going to be using. Father, we pray, Lord, you circumcise their tongue. You grant them word authority. Lord, every form of declaration, Lord, the heavens will sanction them. The heavens will honor them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Redeemer. We declare the service open in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Over to the praise team. Jehovah is the Lord. 
Let's begin to worship our Maker. Let's begin to exalt His holy name. Bakosa de kade badaki di kadi bokoke de bakade di kakida. Zuka bada bakoke de kede boko badi kadi boko kaba kada badi. Zude kede bada koke di kada bakoda. De de boko kede kada badi kado di. Zada bada bako kobodo bada kidi di kabada bako do de di. Badi boko kabada ka kede 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 bo di bakida. Zekede bada bakoda de kabaku di de kede kabada kida. Zada bada bada boko kede bada kidi kabako kede. De di boko bodo bada kadaba. Zika do ba kede 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 boko badi da kida kadabada. Zo di bade kede kede boko badi kaki de kede badaka. Da kabako ke de bodo badi. Zika bado ka kede kede boko badi. Zadi baka kede boko bade ka kedaba. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise. We worship you, King of Glory. Thank you for your power that is in the house already. Thank you, Father, for what you are said to do in this hour. Thank you, God, for the set time, oh God, the time to favor Zion is now. Thank you, oh God, for the time of deliverance for your people is now. Thank you, oh God, for every lawful captivity, Lord, you are going to free your people from them today in the name of Jesus. We give you all the praise. I can feel the power and the presence of God. I just want you to believe this morning. I want you to believe trust in him he's able to do it he want to take you out of that lawful captivity thank you heavenly father for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Heavenly Father, I just commit to God this morning, Lord, your hand. 
I commit your word, Lord, your hand. I hide under the blood of Jesus. I pray that you take over my lips, Lord Jesus. Every utterance of God, Father, honor them for your own glory in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, you send forth your word, O God, this morning to deliver your people and set everyone free from every area of their captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, do it, O God, for your own name's sake. No one will share in your glory. Daddy, do it and take all the praise. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this uh, August edition of uh, Max. Hallelujah. This morning, we're going to be looking at the topic that says free from lawful captivity. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying, but before we do that, we'll look at the scripture, then I'll give you some highlights of what it means to be free and what a lawful captivity is all about. Hallelujah. So that we know how to pray and pray very well. I believe and I trust God that the Lord is going to do what he knows best to do. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how long we have been in that captivity. It doesn't matter who has kept us in that captivity. It doesn't matter if we have put ourselves in that captivity because it is lawful. But this morning, God is going to take us away from that captivity in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be free from, to be free means to be removed from something that is undesirable. Anything that looks like a restriction, what you do not desire. Sickness is not, it's, it's undesirable. Poverty is undesirable. Delay is undesirable. Failure at the edge of breakthrough is undesirable. Poverty, backwardness, they are undesirable. So when you break loose from that, it means that you are free. To be free again means to be released from confinement or slavery. When you are confined to a particular, a particular spot, you are not moving, you are just moving around circles. For you to be released from that circle, to be released from that slavery, the children of Israel, they were in slavery for so many years until the day like this when their freedom came and God heard their prayer and the Lord took them away from that long captivity. I want to prophesy into the life of someone that is listening to me this morning that whatsoever the name, the name of that captivity might be, whatsoever how long it might be there, the power of God is going to set you free this morning. It's going to break you loose this morning. That confinement to that particular location that you cannot move from that spot. You've always been within that same circle of poverty, that, 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 that circle of sickness. The Lord is going to break you loose this morning and you'll be set free in the name of Jesus. To be free means that someone is no longer confined or in prison. So many people are in prison physically and so many spiritually. When someone is in prison physically, you can actually tell that this person is in prison. You want to make all efforts to bring them out. But when people are in prison spiritually, it takes the eye of the spirit to actually deduce that such person is in prison spiritually. Hallelujah. I give you a story. Some years ago, I found myself when I gave my life to Jesus and I had to go undergo a session of deliverance. One night after praying, I saw myself coming out. I was underground, like in a prison. And somebody came and opened the door and brought me up. We were climbing the stairs until we got to a very big road. And he said, that is the way, go in there. You are not meant to be here. Hallelujah. Then it was done on me that has been, I have been in prison spiritually for a very long time. Hallelujah. So, so many people are in spiritual prison unknown to them. There is a young man in my village who, who is an intelligent guy, very, very intelligent, extremely intelligent. But when he finished his uni, he was still staying with the mother, sleeping on the same bed with the mom. Until one day, God opened my eyes to see that he was in a prison and I saw him with gory hair. And I said, where have you been? He said, I have been in prison for a very long time. And I said, you are now free. 
And I mentioned it to Apostle Bernard when Apostle Bernard was going to the village to, for a crusade. I said, this is what God revealed. Invite him, pray for him, and anoint him. And to God be the glory when that was done. Today, today, the rest is story. The Lord has opened the door of greatness for such brother. The brother who was sleeping with the mother on the same bed, even after graduation, is not, is not an employer of labor, helping so many youths in our community. Hallelujah. For you to be free means that you are able to act or do things that you wish to do. You are no longer under control of any other. So many people are being under control by demons. People are under control by powers of their father's house, powers of their mother's house. A young man said to me that he had a revelation where men from his mother's family came in the dream and told him, who asked you to get married? And he said to them, the Lord has ordained marriage and he has asked me to go into it. They said, we are going to see how you are going to succeed. Hallelujah. And they made an enchantment and incantation. And he also saw himself going to where they made those enchantments and incantations because he's no longer under the control of those powers. And he said to God, if indeed you are God, in the book of Lamentation 3, verse 37, the Bible said, who is see that speak and it come to pass when God has not commanded it. And he also prayed in the Holy Ghost. And those enforcement, those powers, those decree, enchantment that were made was by those demonic men and women. The Lord shattered them. I want to prophesy into the life of someone. If you are held captive by powers of your father's house and your mother's house, today is your time. You must be set loose. You must be free from that shackles in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So what is a lawful? What is lawful? When we look at lawful, Lawful means rights, those rights which are set and are enforced. Any right that is asserted and is enforced. We have go, gone into a business deal. We have written down some covenants and we said, this is what we are going to do in this business. And we both signed them. It is not lawful and binding. So those rights that is in the embedded in that document is enforceable and they are acceptable in the court of law, even in the spiritual realm. A young lady said to me some, some years ago in Africa, when I was praying for her, she said, I saw myself in the spiritual court and I was sentenced to death. And I said to her, Jesus is the judge of all. And thank God the Lord reversed the irreversible. I want to pray for everyone that is in this category. You have been sentenced to death in your dream. The enemy has sentenced you to poverty and sickness in your dream. They have sentenced you to delay in your dream. I bring you good news. By the power in the name of Jesus, that decree will be reversed this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And what is captivity? Captivity is the state of being kept in a place, like a prison or in a cage, and you are not able to leave that particular spot or be free. And that's captivity. There are so many signs of captivity. Sudden loss of capability. You are not able to do anything. You find yourself, even though you are able, but you are no longer capable of doing them. Sickness can render someone incapable. Poverty can render men incapable. Loss of memory can render someone incapable. You have been recruited for a job. All of a sudden, you have loss of memory. You can no longer do that job or sickness has come, you no longer have that physical strength to be able to do it. This is captivity. Unhealthy marriages is a form of captivity. 
So many people are living in marriages today, they wish they never got married. And that is why I believe for everyone in this category and for those of you who are trusting God to get married, who are in the process of doing so, that the Lord is going to set the pace for you. The Lord is going to clear the way and remove every hindrance. Anything that want to bring you into captivity, the Lord is going to destroy them this morning in the name of Jesus. Sickness is a sign of captivity. When you are living in sickness from one sickness to another. I remember a man said to me that anytime his salary, even before his salary comes, he has taken his children one after the other. When this one is coming back from the hospital, the other one is going. When this one is coming back, the other one is going. When the children is finished with the children, he comes to the wife. After the wife, he comes to him. And then by the time his salary comes, he has paid all his debt. He has nothing to live on. Poverty, sickness is a captivity. Long period of stagnation is a captivity. Have you been in a particular spot for a very long time? I prophesy to your life, the Lord is going to grant you speed. What took many dunking years to achieve, decades to achieve, within six months, the Lord is going to cause your hand to make wet, legal, legally, wet that are genuine, not illicit. The Lord is going to cause your hand to make that wet in the name of Jesus. That certificate that it cost men 10 years to get in the uni, when it is actually three years program, you find yourself failing and failing and failing. Today, the Lord is going to set someone free in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look at types of captivity in the scripture. Types of captivity. We have mentioned signs of captivity. We are going to be praying, but I just want to, to prepare your mind before we start to pray so that you know that the Lord is able to do all things. Captivity by demons. In the book of Matthew 17, verse 18, we might not be able to read that. I want you to take them down. Matthew 17, 18, captivity by demons. There are so many people who have been, been in captivity as a result of demons that have possessed their life. So many have spirit wife and spirit husband who come to torment them for a very long time. So many have angers, anger in their hearts that want to destroy them and even prepare them to be angry with their divine helpers. Manipulations from darkness, that's captivity. Sickness is also a captivity. It's another captivity, James 5 verse 14. Sickness is a captivity. Slavery is a captivity. Exodus 1 verse 1 to 22, the children of Israel, they were in slavery. Exodus 1, 1 to 22, slavery is another form of captivity. Captivity of poverty. We've mentioned that before. Deuteronomy 8, verse 18. Captivity of poverty. No matter what you do, you do all kinds of jobs. Three jobs in a day. You have no resting time, but yet you are living in you are living in poverty. It's a captivity. And this is not happening to you alone, but it's happening to everyone in the family. It's a captivity. The devil do not want someone to grow up in that family. i give you a story. When I was much younger, I realized that my late father could not build a house, even though he had a miss. And my mother was where to do at that time. They could not even come together to build a home until we were grown and his friends came up together. They said, okay, what are we going to do? Let's help this man. They had to, to make mud to build for my dad. I was in year one in the uni when they did that. My dad could not even make the home habitable. I had to do all sorts to get one of the rooms plastered 
and moving as a student so that when my friend comes to see me, at least they have a place to live. But I began to realize that this was a yoke and it's a captivity. And I began to pray. And I said, Lord, this captivity must be broken. But the good news is that at the age of 35, by the special grace of God, I build a home. And not just in the village, but in a city, the former capital city of Nigeria. And every of my siblings, they all got their homes because that yoke, that captivity was destroyed. I see someone this morning, that form of captivity in your life. I don't know the nature, but I have a God who is able to do all things. The God that answers by fire. He's going to set you free from that captivity this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Poverty is a captivity, like I said. Courtism, Hebrews 13 verse 9, courtism is a captivity. You see so many parents, they have joined all court. And you see this happening in the life of their children. Their children are joining gangs and all court. It's a form of captivity. Some parents, they have joined one evil society, satanic society or the other. And this is, has put their children, put the family in bondage. So many are in some churches where they have all court pastors that have put them in captivity. So I want to pray for everyone that is under the unction of my voice. For those of you that are watching on Facebook and those that are on this platform, on the Zoom platform, anyone in this category, the power of God is going to meet you wherever you may be. That form of captivity will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Captivity of drugs, Ephesians 5 verse 18, Ephesians 5 verse 18, drugs. You see people live in addiction, drug addiction. It's a form of captivity. The enemy just wants to destroy their life. If we see such people, we need to be praying for them every day. It is the grace of God. It's only God that can snatch them from that form of captivity. Sexual captivity. Sexual captivity. That is another form of captivity. Hallelujah. We are going to stop here today. And we are going to be praying. But let's look at the scripture for today. The scripture for today is Isaiah 49, verse 24 to 25. For you to know that all of these that I've mentioned, there is a God in heaven who is able to answer, who is able to take us away from captivity. Just like he, the way he took me from that form of imprisonment, spiritual imprisonment. Just that the way he took me away from that poverty and break that chain of not able to build a home in my family. And today, everyone has a home. The one that doesn't have yet has got a property and they are developing. Hallelujah. Because that captivity was broken. Are you experiencing delayed? You have a project that you have abandoned, a building project. Do you have a project, academic project that you have abandoned? the Lord is going to set you free today in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 49, verse 24 to 25. Isaiah 49, 24 to 25. And the Bible says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the captives of the righteous be delivered? He said, but thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible be delivered for I, the Lord, we contend with him who contend with you, and I will save your children. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying that he is going to contend with whatsoever form of captivity that is contending with you and I this morning. Before we start praying, if there's anyone here, because look at what the scripture says here. It says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the captives of the righteous be delivered? Righteous, not everyone. If you know you are here, you are not born again. Before we start praying, I want you to make up your mind this morning. Any life without Jesus will be full of crisis. Hallelujah. 
will be full of all manner of evil. The devil will make you a dumping ground, a place of market, a place of trade, spiritual trade, but that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. I wanted to say this short prayer after me, if you are in that category. Probably you have confessed Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior at some point in your life. But you know that you have actually drifted away from him. This is a privilege. You never meant it when you made that confession. I want you to say this short prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for the privilege to come back to you. I declare within my heart today that you are my Lord and my personal Savior. Give me the grace to sin no more. Take me back into your bosom again. Delete my name from the book of hell and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Fight my battles and give me total victory. Victory over every form of captivity. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Congratulations to you if you have just made that confession. We are going to be praying right now. But before we pray, I want you to begin to bless the name of the Lord for the privilege even to come to a meeting like this. Let's say, Father, thank you. Jesus, we give you praise. We worship you, Father, for what you are set to do in our life today. Thank you for everyone that is listening to you. They are not here by accident. Father, thank you for what you are set to do. Daddy, thank you. Father, thank you for a prophecy for one is a prophecy for all. Daddy, thank you for as many, oh God, that you are setting free this morning. Daddy, thank you for every yoke that you are destroying this morning. Father, I give you all the praise. I thank you, God, because you had always done this. Thank you because you are not a failure. You never fail us. Baba, I give you all the praise. I worship you, Daddy. Daddy, thank you. Father, thank you. I want you to begin to bless him. Thank him, oh God. He is the giver of life. He is the deliverer. There is nothing that is impossible with him. Father, thank you. Daddy, thank you for your word. Daddy, thank you for your word. Daddy, thank you for your word. Thank you for your people. Behold your children, they have come to you this morning. So many of them, they have been in spiritual prison. So many of them, oh God, they have been hooked up, oh God, in wrong marriages. Oh, Father, so many of them, they have been knocked down with sicknesses. Oh, many of them, oh God, have been captured by the enemy and put in spiritual prison. Even though they are living physically, Lord, they can tell, oh God, one can tell with a spiritual eye that these ones are in spiritual cage. Oh, Heavenly Father, arise in your mercy. Arise and set your people free. 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 So many have got so many qualifications, Lord. They have certificate of God that, that when you look at them and you see where they are, Lord, one we weep. Father, Lord, you are a merciful God. There is nothing that you cannot do. So many intelligent people, they went through school, but yet they have nothing to show for it. They are living in poverty today. <laughs> Father, arise in your power. Arise in your power. Oh God, do something new in that midst this morning. <speaking in Spanish> Doda, who did the bakida, Zikada bakude, de ke de boko kakeda, Zoko bodo bada kadida, de ke bada ku de ke di boko kakeda, Zada bakoda ke de ke de boka badida, Zike boda koko bada kadida, de ke de boko kake de ke di boko badida kida, Zada bako de ke de boka bada kadi, Zadi boka bada ke de de boko bade kake da kadi. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray, and you are going to cry to God and say, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, O oh Lord, arise. Arise, O oh God. Take me from the hand of the mighty in the name of Jesus. Every mighty one, every evil, mighty people that have confronted my life, 
that has confronted my destiny. Powers from my father's house and my mother's house, Lord, that are, as I begin to pray right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that is snatch me away, snatch my wife and my children, that is snatch my business and my ministry away from the hands of the mighty. In the name of Jesus, everyone that come to threaten you in your dream. I want you to begin to cry to God and say, Lord, as I pray right now, Daddy Lord, in the name of Jesus, snatch me away from the hand of the mighty. Snatch me away from the hand of the terrible. Deliver me, O oh God. Deliver my spouse and my children. Deliver my ministry. Deliver my finances. Deliver my head. I want you to pray. I want you to pray like you have never prayed before. The power of God is moving from one location to the other. Even as we pray right now, I can feel his is present. The Holy Spirit is moving. The Holy Spirit is moving. The Holy Spirit is moving. Distance is not a barrier. As you see me, as you are looking at me, the power of God is moving. It's coming into your home now. The power of God is coming. I want you to pray and say, Lord, as I pray right now in the name of Jesus, that the Lord arise and snatch me away from the hands of the mighty. Daddy, snatch me away from the hands of the mighty. Snatch my wife and my benefits. Snatch my children, Lord. Snatch my finances and my ministry. Snatch my head to God away from the hands of the mighty. Everyone that has conspired together against me. Everyone that has conspired together against my spouse and my children. Everyone that has conspired against my ministry. Oh, Father, every evil man and woman, Lord, that is threatening my life, messing up the life of this one. Oh, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as they pray right now, Lord, arise in your power. That is not them away. Bakuzodo bakada kede kede boko badi kakida. Zika da bako kade 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 badako kade kede bodoba. Zuka boko ke de di kadi badakada. Zada bakada bada kude di kede boko kede boko badakada ba. Zike de boko kede badaku di kade kade bada. Every form of barrenness, every delay, Lord, every sickness, Lord, every singleness. Oh, Father, snatch your people, Lord, this morning away from that captivity. That is not them away, oh God, from the hand of the mighty. Oh, Father, everyone that declared themselves evil men and women, oh God, in such society, in their community, and in their family. The Bible said, a man's enemies are members of his household. Oh, Lord, arise in your power. Oh, Lord, arise in your power. Oh, Lord, arise. Rise in your power, O Lord, arise 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 in your power as your children are praying right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, arise, move from one location to the other. Begin to set the captive free. Begin to set the captive free. Every strong man that has put these ones in captivity, every power that is boasting, and they are saying there is no God. They are saying who can help them. Father, because you are the God of all flesh, the creator of the universe, there is nothing that is impossible with you. Lord, arise in your power. Arise. Kakida, Zikada Bako Kede Kede Badakada Bakudi, Zade Boko Kake de Kadabadika, Deko Badakado Bade di Kakida Kadi, Bada Badaku Dedi, Zadi Boko Kede Badakaka, Zoko Badaki de Kedi Boko Badida, Dakabako Kede Kede Bodo Badi Kakida, Zoko do Badakadabadi, Zade Kadaba Kudi de Kede Bodoba, Zade Boko Kede Kadaba, Zeka do Kadaba. Dike de ke de ke de ke de boko bada zike de ke bodo bada diko do ba kake de ke de boko bada kadi dika zo bada kadaba di bodo bada ki di kadaba de zade kade kade bada ko kake de ke di bodo badi ka zude bada kaki di boko kake da kadaba di da kabada ba ko kodo bada zidi bodo ba ke ke de bada kadaba as you pray right now Lord I ask for God in the name of Jesus as your children begin to pray. 
Lord, move from one location to the other. Daddy said they cast it free in the name of Jesus. Daddy, every strong man of God that has had them banned for too long. Oh, Father, their time of deliverance is now. Daddy, free your people from every lawful captivity. Every lawful captivity. Their household member has sold them to the enemy. Their parents have sold them to the enemy. Members of their society have sold them. They have used them as a collateral. Oh, Father, I pray because, oh, God is a lawful captivity and you have promised this morning that you are going to set people free. It doesn't matter how lawful the captivity is. Oh, Father, set your people free as many of oh God that have been lawfully captured, oh God, as a result of their sin, as a result of the sins of their foundation, as a result of their inordinate affection, as a result of their immoral art, as a result of the lies that they have told, as a result, oh God, of every form of unrighteousness. Their children have been held by their spouses have been held by their businesses have been tied down oh father as we pray right now lord arise in your power Arise, O oh God, arise. Lord, arise. Set the captive free. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise. Snatch them, O oh God, from the hand of the captive. Daddy, snatch them, snatch them, snatch them, snatch them, snatch them. Baka, zuku, bada, kadaba. Zeke, deke, de, boko, kabada. Zike, de, bada, ko, kake, deke, de, boko, badi, da, kida. Zo, bada, kadi, kade, kede, kede, bo, kabadi. As many that have been threatened in their dream by the powers of the enemy, Lord, they are living in that fear perpetually. As I stand, oh God, as your son this morning, I declare freedom in the name of Jesus. I declare freedom. I declare freedom. As they pray right now, Lord, I declare freedom. I declare freedom. I join my faith with their so God. Daddy, Lord, I declare health. I declare divine healing. I declare divine healing. I declare freedom from poverty. I declare freedom from sickness. I declare freedom from delay. Bako zadabaku di deke deke de Every form of delay, delay in childbearing, delay in getting married. Lord, they are broken this morning. In the name of Jesus, they are destroyed. 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 Every chain of darkness that is holding on to this one. Every covering cast, every veil of darkness. Oh, bako zade kade badako di di kakadi boko kabada. Zada bako kade badaka di de boko. Zibada koke de kede boko badakadaba. Zade Kadabako di di kakeda di kudoba kadaba kadi kaki da kade bodo badaka zode kede bo kakoda di kadabako kede kade baka di da zada badabako kede badaki di kadaba di kadabako kede 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 bo koba da kaki di kadaba zidi bo koke de kada da kabado di kake de kede bo koba di da zuka badake de de kede bo koka ke da badi kake de bo koba da kadaba. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I declare to your Lord that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord will arise and snatch you away from the hands of the mighty in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray again. You are going to say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, arise. I take my permission. You have my permission, Lord. Enter into my family. Invade my family. Enter into my family, my paternal family, my maternal family, Lord. Deliver me from every lawful captivity. In every area, Lord God, I have been held captive, Lord, lawfully. Daddy, Lord, I grant you permission into my family now. I grant you permission into my family now, into my maternal family, into my paternal family. Lord, arise and deliver me. 
As I pray right now, Lord, arise. In the name of Jesus, invade my family. Invade my family. Enter into my family. Deliver me from every lawful captivity. In the name of Jesus, my father, my father, as I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, arise, O oh God. I grant you permission. Enter into my family right now. Enter into my maternal home. Enter into my paternal home. Enter into my marriage and my ministry. Enter into the life of my spouse and my children. Invade my family. Deliver us from every lawful captivity. Deliver us from every lawful captivity. I want to believe that you are praying. I want you to cry to God and say, my father, my father, as I pray right now in the name of Jesus, I grant you permission. I grant you permission into my family, into my foundation, into my marriage and my ministry, into my job. I ask for God, every form of captivity, lawful captivity, Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. Bakuzadi, Kadabakoka, Zike de Bokoka Keda Bada Kadiba, Zadabako Kede Bodoba da Kadiba di Kakida, Zeke de Boka Badeka, Dakabo Kake da Kadibo Doba da Kadida, Zedeke de Bodoba Kake de Kadaba, Di Kabako Kede Bada Koke di Kadeba Kadiba, Zadeba da Kode, Di Kadabako Kakeda, Di de Koka Keda Badi, Zadabakoka, Kede Kede Kadabadi, Zoko. Bodo Bakadaba, Di Kadaba Koke de Kede Bodo Bada, Zada Koke de Badakidi, Bado Kade 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 Bakadodi, Zidaba Koke de Kadabakida, Kudakida Bade Kede Kede Boko Badi Kakida, Zoko Bodo Bada, Di Kadaba Koke de Dakeda Kadabakida, Zika Bako Kede Kade Baka, Zada Badaba Koke de Badakida, Deke Boko Badake da Kadaba, Zudi Bake da Kadaba, and below. Captivity, Lord, deliver your people. Daddy, as they pray right now, Lord, let the power of the Holy Ghost begin to move from one location to the other. Daddy, deliver them from every lawful captivity, every lawful captivity, every lawful captivity where they have given their hands to oh God to the enemy to put chains on them. Oh, Father, Lord, where their parents have sold them, where their family has sold them, where power, so oh God, who feel that they are in charge of their community, they have sold them out. They said, This our children, do whatever you. You like. Oh, Father, today we reverse that trend. In the name of Jesus, Lord, deliver your people. Deliver your people, Lord. Deliver your people. Deliver your people. Children be delivered. Adults be delivered. Parents be delivered. Finances be delivered right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, every form of captivity. Every marital benefit that have been tied down as a result of this. Oh, Father, let them be set free right now. Deliver to your children. Deliver the key, the key to their marriage, the key to their successful marriage, the key to their good health, the key to their finances, the key, oh God, Baba, to, 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 to their health. Baba, deliver it right now. Even as we pray in the name of Jesus, that he arise in your power. Baka zakada, bako kadabadi, zike boko kedevada. Dike de bako ke de kade bakado kake zada boko ke de bada dika di badako ke de kabo kake daba zada bada ba kude di kabako ka kadi boko ke de bada zike de ke de ke de bako kake da dadi boko ku bada kadida zoko bada ke da kade boko kake da badi zada ba du kadi da boko ke de zade bako kake da bada zakadi badako ke de bada kida Kadabade, deke de bo kobo do bada kadaba, di kadi bako kake dabadi. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray again. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. If you look at the book of Second Samuel, chapter nine, verse one to six. Second Samuel. 9 verse 1 to 6, we might not be able to read that. It's a story that every one of you are very conversant with. The king was looking for someone that he's going to favor for the sake of their late father. And Mephibosheth, I think Ziba was called in to ask about Mephibosheth. Instead of Ziba to say where Mephibosheth was, 
he started by his lame, knowing full well that a lame person cannot come, it is, it is sacrilege for a lame person to come into the palace. But thank God for the king, the king shot him. I said, go and get him. The king overruled or he did not put into consideration the protocol. He broke the protocol on that day. So many people are in this category. The devil is manipulating your destiny, manipulating your divine helpers. When your name is mentioned for favor, what they say is, oh, that sister that is always angry. That wasn't what they asked you. When it is time for you to be favored, somebody asks about you, you are, get, you are preparing to get married, or you are looking unto God for a life partner. And they say, what about that brother? What about that sister? The first thing that they will mention is about your family. Oh, he's from a family of this and that. There are criminals in their family. Even though when you are born again, it's the manipulations of the devil. It's a form of captivity. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. You're going to say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray in the name of Jesus, arise, destroy whosoever that is manipulating me against my divine helpers. When helpers come my way, what they will hear is negative things about me. No one cares to remember what good that I've done in the past. The good side of you is not mentioned. They want to capitalize on your deformity. They want to capitalize on your weakness. This is a manipulation from the pit of hell. Say, my father, my father, as I pray in the name of Jesus, destroy law whosoever that is manipulating me against my divine helper. They can stir up a quarrel between you and your divine helper. All of a sudden, you see yourself fighting against those that God has set to elevate your life. I want you to pray to God. I say, Lord, destroy them. Everyone manipulating me against my divine helpers. Every power manipulating me against my divine helpers. Every power from my foundation that has said anger will rest in my heart. That has said I will not, I will miss the, 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 the goodness of life because of anger. Because of this weakness in my life. Oh, Father, arise, Lord, destroy that power. In the name of Jesus, Lord, destroy that power. I want you to pray to God. So many of you are in this category. When your case is mentioned, what they will hear is negativity. The positive ones that has actually outweighed the negativity will not be mentioned. Look at what happened to Mephibosheth. Thank God for Jesus. You are going to cry to God and say, Lord, everyone that is manipulating me against my divine helper, anyone manipulating me and my divine helper against one another, Father, destroy them today. Every power anywhere. Bako zodo kabada. Zike debo ko kabadi kakida. Lord, as your children are praying right now from all over the world, every manipulation of darkness, every power that is manipulating their destiny, manipulating their divine helpers against them, manipulating them against their divine helpers in order to put them in perpetual captivity. Oh Lord, destroy them, Lord. Daddy, destroy them. The Bible said in the book of Psalm 50, verse 15, said, call unto me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you and you will glorify my name. Lord, your children, they are crying out to you right now. Lord, arise in your power. Arise in your power. Arise in your power. Destroy every manipulation. Destroy every manipulator. Destroy every power that is manipulating your children. That will not allow them to settle down. That will not allow them to get good business. That will not allow them to get good contract. That will not allow them to move on in life. That will not allow them to be settled in life. Oh, Father, arise. Daddy, arise. Daddy Arash, Daddy Arash, deliver them, deliver your children and destroy that power. 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 Bakozo kobada di kakeda. Zike boko kadaba. Zike bo kakeda. Zadabako di kede. Deke bo kabadaka. Zadibo kokede badaka. 
Deke de kobake da kadibo kobadida. Zakado badaki di kadibo koke de badakida. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray. We are still going to pray. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. But before we pray, I want us to look at the book of Jeremiah 31, verse 1. Jeremiah 31, verse 1. Jeremiah 31, verse 1. Jeremiah 31, verse 1. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And at the same time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Praise God. God said he will be the God of all the families. For you to know that God is interested in every family. He said he will be their God. I trust God that this morning, the Lord that has promised to be your God, he will be your God indeed in the name of Jesus. There is no battle that is not traceable to a man's family, a man's foundation. And there is no battle that is not traceable to a man. And that is why the Bible said, I will contend with him that contend with you. You see the scripture that we read when we started in the book of Isaiah 49, verse 24 to 25. It said, I will contend with him that contend with you. I will contend with him that contend with you. It means that every contention or every trouble in life is linked to a man because the devil is going to use a man God is also going to use men to bless you, as well as the devil is also going to use men to hinder the life of people. But that will not be a portion in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. And I want you to pray this prayer like you have never prayed before. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, oh God, arise. Contend with them that contend with my family in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, as I begin to pray in the name of Jesus, arise and contend with them that contend with my family. Anything that contend with my family, Lord, arise this morning. Contend with them. Daddy, you said you will be the God of my family. That is what you said in the book of Jeremiah 31, verse 1. Lord, I stand on that word this morning. I ask, oh God, contend, oh God, with everyone that contend with my family. Everyone that contend with your people, everyone praying right now, whosoever that is contending with them, any power that is contending with them, Lord, arise and contend with them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise and contend with them. Baba, arise and contend with them. Everything that is contending with them, poverty, sickness, delay, unfruitfulness, that is contending with their peace, that is contending with their joy, every demon, power on assignment, that are contending with these ones, Lord, contend with them. Arise as I pray right now, as your children are praying right now, in the name of Jesus, arise, contend with them. Arise, contend with them. Arise, contend with them. Bakaza, diko bade, zike de bokoke de bada, zaka doko badakida, zike de bokoke de badakida, dako badake da kadibo do badaka, zike de bokoke de badaka, dike de bokoka, kudi kadibaka, zedeke de boko badake de boko badida kidaba, zodo badake da kadabaki, di kadibo koke de kadeba kadabadi, zade boko. Anything that contend with your marriage, anything that contend with your business, anything that contend with your ministry, anything that contend with your health, anything that contend with your children, that contend with your spouse, that contend with your peace. Oh Lord, arrive, contend with them now. Anything that contend with your family, 
that contend with the church of God, that the arise of God as we pray right now, in the name of Jesus, contend with them. In the name of Jesus, contend with them. Bakuzade, Badakokida, Zika Badakoda, Deke de Boko Badida, Zadibako Kedekade, Zakeda Bakukade Kadiba, Ziko Badaka de Bokokeda, Dakabaku Kadi de Boduba, Zadiboko Kede Bada, Dika Bako Kakeda, Kedeke de Boko Badika Kida, Zakadaba Kudi de Kedebo, De de Kadabakidi, Zakadabako Kakede Boduba, Zike de Bako Kakeda Kadiba, De Kuba de Kake de Kediboko Kede Bada Kida, Zadiboko Badaka, Dike de Boko Kede Bada, Zadaba Kadaba, everyone under the unction of my voice, that they are pray law, contend with every of their contender, everything that contend with them, every power from the pit of hell that is contending with this one, every unpleasant situation, daddy that is contending with them. Oh, Father, arise and contend with them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise and contend with them. Daddy, arise and contend with them. Every power contending with them. Oh, Father, arise in your power. There is nothing that is impossible for you to do. You are the God of all flesh. You are bigger than the biggest. You are greater than the greater. You are the great deliverer. You are the almighty God. Arise in your power. Contend with them right now. Destroy them. As you contend with them, destroy them. As you contend with them, destroy them. Every power that is bent to God, that this one, so God will not make it in life. Every power of God that is bent to frustrate them, that is bent to frustrate them in their workplace, that is bent to frustrate them in their marriage, that is bent to frustrate them in their business. Oh, Father, every hand that is joined together. Oh, Father, Lord, every foot of God that is moving at night from one commission to another, that your God against your people. I pray this morning, Lord, contend with them, contend and destroy them. In the name of Jesus, contend and destroy them. Bakozo, dike de bada, zike boko kabadika, deke de bo kabade kakida, zokobodo badakade, di kabako kake da kadibodo badaka, zika de bokoka, dake da badi kakida, zuko boko badaka dide, dake boko bade di kakadiba, zadabako de kede kede boko bade kake da kadiba dida, zike boko kede bodo bada. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to pray again. We are going to pray again. We'll take the last prayer point, then and I will pray for you. Hallelujah. I trust God that the Lord is going to visit you, visit your home and your business, visit your siblings in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to pray and say, my father, my father, as I begin to pray in the name of Jesus, every of my oppressor, let them begin to fight against themselves. Everyone that is oppressing you, everyone oppressing you spiritually, everyone oppressing you in your workplace, everyone oppressing you in your ministry, everyone oppressing you in your family, everyone oppressing you in your nation, let them begin to fight against themselves. As we pray right now, my father, my father, everyone oppressing your people, wherever they may be, every demonic power that is oppressing them, every human being that is oppressing them, oh, father, arise, Lord, every situation oppressing your people, every sickness that is oppressing them, every unpleasant situation, that the law, unpalatable situation that is affecting them, that is contending with them, that is oppressing them. Oh, Father, as we pray right now, arise. That the law, let them begin to fight against themselves. Let them begin to fight against themselves. Let them begin to fight against themselves. That the, in the order of the builder of the toil of Babel, that they confuse their language, that they confuse their language, let them begin to fight against themselves. Let them begin to fight against themselves. Bakazadaba, Kude di Kakeda, Zikuba da Kadabadi, Zade Kabadoka, Dike de Boko Kakeda Badida, Zake da Bo Kakeda, Zika Badako Kede, De Deke de Boko Kabadi, Zadi Boko Kede Badakida, Baka da Bako Kakeda, Dike de Boko Kede Badakadiba, Zakabako Kodobada, D 
dike deke debo koba de di kaka di bakoka za de bakoke de bada ki da kadiba diko bakake da kada bakoka dike deke deke de boko badida za da bada ba kude di kake da deko bada kadiba zoko bada kadiba de de kabado kake da zike de boko bada da kada badi za di boko kodaba de de boko kake de boko bade di kake da bada zi kada ba kude di kabo kabada za de boko kubada di ke de kadi bada ko kake da bada za kada ba ku kake de boko bodo bada kada ba zi de boko kade boko bade da di kadi boko ke de boko bade da bade kada ba ku de di za di boko ke de boda ba zi ka boko ke de boda bada ki di boko ke de bodo bada kada ba de ke de boko badi kake de ke de boko badi kake da ba thank you heavenly father in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen hallelujah congratulations to you i want you to stretch forth your hand as you receive from the lord this morning hallelujah the word of god said in the book of psalm 129 verse 4 psalm 129 verse 4 it said but the lord is righteous he has caught me free from the cords of the wicked Heavenly Father, I want to say thank you for your children. Merciful God, the great I am that I am, the lion of the tribe of Judas, the head of all principalities, the rose of Sharon, the mighty healer, the great deliverer. Thank you for your children all over the world. They have come to meet with you this morning and not with any man. Father, I stand on your word in the book of Isaiah 48, verse 11. You said, for my name's sake, I will do it. How will I allow my name to be robbed in the mud? I've told your children, Father, that you can do all things. I've showed them your word in the scripture, where you said you contend with them that contend with the families. That the Lord, I ask this morning, I bring them to you that every of their prayers, Daddy, you will answer this morning in the name of Jesus. You will arise and contend with anything that contend with their health, anything that contend with their marriage, anything that contend with their business, anything that contend with their fruitfulness, anything that contend with their life, their health, everything, Father, you will contend with them and destroy that power in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you cut them, O oh God, from the hand of the terrible ones, those powers from their foundation that has handed them over to the enemy. And that captivity became lawful because they are responsible for these ones, because they gave back to them. Father, you are the creator of the universe. You are the father of all fathers. Daddy, I declare this morning that every form of lawful captivity, your children are free from me this morning in the name of Jesus. Everyone under the unction of my voice that are taken to drug addiction already. Father, we break that person loose from that drug addiction in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone, oh God, that is in trouble, that will be put in spiritual prison, Daddy, we set them free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone sick in their body. Everyone trying, oh God, to conceive. Everyone that want to get married, but they have been delayed for a very long time. Daddy, arise in your power. Amen. Let that captivity come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of glory. May your name alone be praised. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Jesus name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord for the opportunity we have again to pray and worship together. I want us to begin to appreciate God for his faithfulness, for allowing us to even have the opportunity of praying together. I appreciate God. Talk to God that even in this month of August, that is the eighth edition of this program. 
August is the eighth month. It represents new beginning. I want you to talk to God, that Father, every area of my life, every area in my family, and everything that I do, I undertake that requires a new beginning. Talk to God that in this month of August, new beginning, grant me a new beginning. Grant me a fresh start in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Talk to God consciously in thanksgiving. Say, Daddy, new beginning I, I, I received this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask by the grace of yours and even the auction upon my own life, that every of your children, wherever they are located and the families they are representing, Father, grant them new beginning in the mighty name of Jesus. Where they require a fresh start in any area of their life, Lord, arise for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Give them that new beginning. Give them that new start in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that as we look up to you in this new month, it's just fresh. Today is the seventh day of the month. I ask, oh God, that in this month, you will meet with everyone supernaturally and specially. In your own way, oh God, bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. If we receive your word, we've prayed unto you, we have worshipped you, Lord, accept all in Jesus' name. And everyone that you have used, oh God, Lord, I ask that you will refill, you will restore, and you will bless them. For them to have blessed us this morning, Father, bless them in return. Like our Father and Lord, we always say that the, 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 the most highest prayer that anyone can offer is God bless you. God will bless the visioner. God will bless the one that led us in praise and worship. God will bless everyone that is on the program. And God will bless me and my family too in the name of Jesus. We have always been encouraged not to come to the presence of the Lord emptily. If you watch the Holy Ghost service yesterday, one of our pastors that led us into offering. It was an awesome time. I want you to, in the same vein today, give sacrificially. I want you to give in a way that you, you cannot even imagine. Just by your own grace of God upon your life, bring out something tangible for God this morning. And as you do that, the Lord Almighty himself, who is called the Jehovah Jireh, the provider, we continually provide for you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray over our offering. Give it cheerfully. Give it sacrificially. And there shall be fire that will be ignited upon your altar this morning that will take you even to your next uh, financial level in the name of Jesus. If you want us to display the uh, account details, just put a reference, maps, to differentiate it. Say maps. I will pray with you and even over the offering before we close the meeting now. Our Father and our God, the ancient of days, our Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. You said in your word as well, in the book of Psalm 23, you say you are our shepherd, we shall not want. And even in the book of Psalm 27, we say you are our life and our salvation. Lord, I decree over your children this morning, in wherever they are, Lord, they will not want. By the reason of this offering, Lord, continue to be their shepherd in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be their light, secure their salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that this offering will be used to propagate your work here on earth. And you will bless us tremendously for releasing from part of what you are giving to us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cover every offering by the blood of Jesus. And we ask, oh God, that more than what you can imagine or even think about, Lord, we refill your pockets and your purses this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I ask that the option and the power of God will continue to go with you. 
The Lord Almighty will abide with you and your family, and it shall be well with you all the way. In Jesus' name. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? One, two, go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the, the love, love of God, God and the sweet fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forever. And forever. And forever. Amen. Amen. Surely, Surely, goodness, goodness and mercy shall follow me, me all the days of my life, of my life and I shall I dwell, shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for the privilege. Bless you all. Yeah. It's well with you. Sure. Everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Good morning, weekend. everybody. Good, Good morning. morning. God bless. Bless Bye. you all. Everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning. mommy. Good morning. Sure. Good morning. Have a lovely weekend. Good morning. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Bye. Bye.